Hello and welcome once again back to the motherboards.org YouTube channel. Well, today NVIDIA's new entry-level video card hits the market. This is the new 550 GTX Ti card. Now, this card is going to be a very sweet spot for users because this card features one gigabyte of DDR5 and has both 192-bit memory interface and 192 CUDA cores. Now this is going to fit right in the mainstream market because the card is going to be about $140. I really think this is going to be one of the most popular cards that NVIDIA has released all year. Today I'm proud to bring you the unboxing of ASUS's version. This is the ASUS GTX 550 Ti Direct CU Top Card. Today we're going to be looking what's inside the box. We'll have the full review for you later today, but right now, let's see what's inside of this thing. So we're going to pop open the side here. Very, very condensed box here. And by the way, this particular card comes overclocked. It's 975 megahertz on the core clock, meaning the CUDA clock, right out of the box. It's 900 megahertz is the standard for the cards. So, right here, show you the inside of the box. Let's go ahead and start taking a look at what all's in here. Basically disassemble the box. Hmm, this one's very, very light. Hmm, very light and stuff here on this one. Got three things. <laughs> we've got the card, we've got the speed setup guide, and a dual Molex to six pin power connector. Once again, this card, this power requirements TDP, they say is 116, but it's actually more like about 150. So it takes 75 for the PCI and 75 for the six watt power connector. Now, here's the card itself. The Direct CU version means that it has better cooling. It helps dissipate heat away from the GPU, keeping the card running very cool. Some of the specifics about ASUS that they love to talk about is their super alloy power. This allows for better overclocking. It keeps your power running on the card, makes the card running smoother. They also feature their voltage tweak software for overclocking the card. So we're gonna take a look at, here's the front of the card. I'm gonna spin it around. You can see the heat pipes here. These are aluminum heat pipes. There's also aluminum fins underneath here. Basically all the heat is gathered and spread out to these pipes and then dissipates away from the card, keeping it cool. There's only a single six watt power connector right here. So your power is coming from here and your power is coming from here in your PCI. So that's you're getting 75 watts there, 75 watts here. There's also a completely new design on this card. This is not the standard reference design that you're gonna see from NVIDIA. Asus has took the time to redesign this card in their own manner. On the rear IO, it's something very interesting here. We have a standard DVI and then an old school VGA, which you don't see very much, and then an HDMI connector. So this card's pretty interesting. Like I said before, this card's gonna be hitting the market at about $140. This was the new GTX TI 550 Direct CU top version from our friends over at ASUS.